previously on The Way We Did It. We took our truck camper to Great Basin National Park. We are now spending a week on the beach of Lake Tahoe in California. We had just driven across the entire state of Nevada, trading out the desert for a more familiar terrain to two Coloradans. Nestled within the Sierra Nevada mountains is Lake Tahoe, the largest alpine lake in North America. It was early June, right on the cusp of summer, so the temperatures were cool, thick clouds hung over town, and we had quite a few moments of residual winter weather. <laughs> Just getting some sleet. Mail tents also got snow today. We're getting small, what size, pea-sized hail right now. All right, that weather was crazy. I was not expecting to get hail in Lake Tahoe. Um. <laughs> After being on the road for nearly two weeks, we were ready to park it in Tahoe, recharge, and knock out some chores we've been putting off. Like defluffing our window screens from Moab's shedding cottonwoods, and the dreaded laundry day. This is the most exciting part about living on the road, right? <laughs> there was a minor hiccup on our first morning before work. We thought our campsite had enough visible sky for our Starlink, but less than an hour before our first meeting, we discovered we had no Wi-Fi. We just wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes. Um, as beautiful as our campground is, the trees block our Starlink. So we didn't have our normal internet. We woke up this morning just assuming that we could use the campground's Wi-Fi, but it wasn't fast enough to handle video calls. So before our next meeting at 9 or 10 a.m. this morning, we had to pack everything up and rush down the street and park. <laughs> in front of the Safeway parking lot where we can use our Starlink. So we are <laughs> currently at the dining room table in the Safeway parking lot using our Starlink <laughs> to work. <laughs> but it turned out to be a happy accident because for the rest of the week, this was our office. Baldwin Beach is one of 40 sandy beaches along Lake Tahoe. We chose it due to its close proximity to our campground, and we could back up our truck camper right to the edge of the beach. Our view did come at a small price. We were a little surprised to discover that the majority of public beaches along Lake Tahoe charged a $10 entry fee per vehicle per day. But with the view being slightly better than the Safeway parking lot, we thought it was worth it. Another huge perk that came with parking on the beach was access to the bike path that ran along the main road. It connected us to other beaches, the visitor center, and restaurants. We were super happy to use our scooters, especially after getting extreme sticker shock at our first gas station in California. Oh, California. It's just not right. $103 to fill up our train. That is insane. What do you feel about that? Half a tank. Half a tank. Oh, the half a tank. Oh, God. Half a tank, $103. Uh, At least we're not diesel. It's $9.99 a gallon. God. Ten dollars a gallon. Jeez. Kill me now. <laughs> Camp Richardson is a small resort community in South Tahoe. It was a 10-minute scoot from Baldwin Beach to their general store that serves breakfast and lunch every day from 8 to 4. 
So look at this lunch. We just scooted into town. Scooted into town. We got a Philly cheese and a quesadilla. Uh -huh. And after this, it's clean. <laughs> Conveniently, across the street was their ice cream parlor. We just picked up some ice cream. That's supposed to be one scoop. <laughs> I got a scoop of chocolate. It's really good. It's actually really, really good. Yeah. Emerald Bay is often called the crown jewel of Lake Tahoe with its sparkling blue-green water and dramatic view of the surrounding granite mountains. We stopped at Inspiration Point and overlooked 600 feet above the lake with a sweeping vantage point of the bay. Just up the road from Inspiration Point was the Eagle Falls Trailhead. There were two trails that split off in opposite directions, one to the larger Upper Eagle Falls and another to Lower Eagle Falls. Unfortunately, due to snowmelt, the upper trail was pretty flooded. Is this supposed to be flooded like this? But the trail and view from the lower falls was no consolation prize. Now, let's go check out the campground. We were staying at the Tahoe Valley Campground. It's located in South Tahoe, roughly 20 minutes from the lake. We booked a back-end site with full hookups that came with a picnic table and fire pit. This campground had a ton of amenities, like a swimming pool, playground, movie nights, general store, bathhouses with showers, and a game area. <laughs> Let's see if your basketball skills have improved. Nope. <laughs> we also strayed from our typical dinner of tacos and attempted to cook a new recipe of chicken and dumplings. All right, we're trying out. Oh. <laughs> ah! Perfect timing! <laughs> well, we're trying out a new recipe in the camper. We are making chicken and dumplings. Um, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's, going everything's fine. Really yeah. great. Yeah. We are making the dumpling dough right now. We did not have a mixing bowl, so we're using a bowl. A bowl. <laughs> but it's working. We got Here some we dough go. going. These are drop dumplings, so like drop biscuit. Yeah. So that actually looks pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. Making dough. We got the soup part of it. Boiling, Boiling over. Boiling over. <laughs> yeah. Boiling over. But it should right. be. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. We'll let you know how it tastes. Despite the mess, it was actually quite delicious. We had been lugging our paddle boards around for the past month just to take them out on Lake Tahoe. And we of course picked the windiest day to do it. Mm -hmm. 
I opted to keep the geese company and stay on the beach. I didn't think I could handle the choppy waves. But Dave was dead set on going and braved the turbulent water. Very woggly. <laughs> you made it. Just... How was it? Choppy. Choppy? So tired. Yeah. It looked like fun though. There's a lot further up the way than I thought. <laughs> I stood up for maybe three minutes and it was too dangerous. Oh yeah. 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 Next time on The Way We Did It. We continue our journey up the California coast to see some very big trees in Redwoods National Park. If you'd like to join us on more adventures, be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button. And consider joining our Patreon for extra perks like travel guides, bloopers, and digital photographs. It helps to support our channel so we can continue to show you the way we did it.